Okay, Milo, Lola, walk with me a little. Or as the sailor told the bishop, now's the time to get extraordinarily drunk. Listen, Mr. Satan. You want to ask my permission to leave, and failing that, you want to challenge me to a drinking contest you've heard about, most probably from Sam. How far off am I? So, is the contest real? Like, it seems weird to be so Satan! <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Uh, uh, keep up the bad work. This whole thing was my idea, yet I can't take full credit. I didn't make the rules. I just created the escape clause for a soul every, you know, thousand years or so. We sing, we drink, we play a few games. It's more fun than doing your laundry, at least. Why is it, why is it so few, if you uh, don't mind me asking? Like, you're the devil. Wouldn't you want as many assholes out there as possible? It's like ants, Milo. You see one? Maybe it just came in hey, on hey, your jacket. Hey, boss, 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 can I? Dog Belly, I'm not your boss, remember? Beelzebub runs the day-to-day? -day? Yeah, 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 I, I just need like an extra day or two time off. My baby wants to do Halloween in Cancun, and I... Oh, fine, fine, tell her to buy a swimsuit. Thank you, brother, thank you, thank you. So how does it work exactly? We just... Great, my brother Asmodeus, this is like the eighth text tonight. It's a clip of someone falling downstairs while trying to carry a pumpkin. Eh, just give me a second here. I don't want my buddies to ding-dong ditch me. Hey, there he is! It's the big guy himself! Finally! You look good. You're losing weight. You know I'm gonna make you go home and get it if you forgot. I've got a bottle of chariot spit in my pocket, all right. I bless you, my son. Milo, Lola, meet Turnabal, Dark Minister of the Seventh Circle. Yeah, hi. Morgan, the Black Fiend of the High Seas. Pleasure. Vitala, <laughs> the spirit of disease and intestinal issues. And nice to, you know, whatever. And Chad, from Kingston, Ontario. How's it going? Um, hi. So it's, uh, so it's Chernadog, Nebula, American, and, uh, Dag? Sorry, I know I have a trick to remember names, but I can't remember the trick. It has something to do with, uh, with counting backwards from your birthday. Card game set up. Wait, we're just. Well, this will take two minutes. Your your darkliness. We just want to. Oh wait! You're the two that are going to make a run at the big guy, right? Do the drinking contest. <laughs> what? My last shit weighs more than both of you put together. And she had just eaten three people, so. Oh yeah, I read about you on Bicker. We got put here by mistake, so there's no real need for the whole contest part. Children, look now. I am your humble servant, truly. I worshipped your paws while you were still in the womb. But you don't know what soup you're ordering here. Well, how do we prove we can do this? Who the fuck is texting me right Oh, good gravy, it's Bezel still on me about those unholy reports. But what do you expect? The guy can't turn off. Polly was crawling up my butt too tonight, preaching about God knows what. Whoa! Hmm. Actually, okay. I've developed a notion. Milo, Lola, you can help me out. You can help me out and prove you can handle our little, uh, test of endurance. Interested? Uh, sure, okay. Well, what is it? Track down my brothers and sisters, the original monarchs. Apollon, Esmodius, Beelzebub, Onoskelis, the fallen angels, like me. And outdrink them first. This way you'll be granting me a small favor. You'll be getting them temporarily off my behind. While also proving you can party with beings who have used stars as rushlights. And until you do, I'll be playing gin rummy in the parlor. Uh, I feel like I'm being forced to take the PSATs all over again, but sure. If we have to. It's a golden fiddle? Huh. It says on the plaque that John of Patmos could indeed play very well. But Charlie Daniels made up the rest. Huh. Interesting. All right, 
One more time, for anyone whose mother just came in the room and asked them to take out the trash. If you get just two out of four monarch seals of approval on this magical and convenient parchment, then I'll ignore my friends and let you try to, as they say, out-party me. And then we'll see how special my little rumping, jumping generals truly are. Any other queries before I get annihilated? Please say no. Um, how do we die anyway? Unfortunately, that's not my department. I uh, don't shepherd collections. But maybe my sister Polly can assist you with your query. I'll be seeing you. There was a lot to unpack there. Those friends of his were total cocks. Seriously, Chad? Like, what the hell was that? Whatever, let's not lose focus. How hard could it be to get two recommendations? I mean, I got five for my college applications, but uh, we have no idea where these monarchs are or how to find them. Oh, you know who would know? No fucking... Sam, let's call her cab and ask her about it. Good. Thank you, dearie. Ha 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 We learned everything we know from Marie Laveau and Mother Suspiriorum. <laughs> and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. That was one of the only lines of the Bible I remember from Revelations. Looks like Satan took it as a compliment. Go all the way to the bottom or take the long way. Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Headed down. Watch your feet. Yeah. Fornius already told me I don't think I can make it. Give me a break, Sam. That's... You can make it. What the shit else are you doing tonight? Uh, my job. Who gave you that job? Erdog, seriously, I'm self-employed. Says so right on my tax returns. Just... I know why you don't want to. I know you've been through it before, but... Everyone needs to participate. It won't work if it's just half or half a bit one. I'm... I'll... I'll, I'll think about it, okay? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, okay, just don't overheat, because time's running out. Hey, what's going on? You guys going home? What happened? Okay, that's two fishy-smelling demons talking to you in hushed tones, so what's the big idea? There's... you're holding secrets out on us. I, I want in. She doesn't like being left out of secrets. There's no secrets here, kids. Jesus, it's just stuff you don't know about. Like, fighting in world wars, or not being able to look up who was in that movie 26 hours ago. And it has absolutely nothing to do with you. And you want to keep it that way, trust me. Look, I'm sure whatever you're talking about with these guys is, you know, beyond our current experience levels, but maybe we can still help, huh? Ever think of that? You can't help, okay? You can only stand there, and drink, and sometimes say things. And you should be grateful this universe's expectations are so limited. Come on, Lola. We need to start finding these, uh, these monarchs before we're stuck here. The monarchs? We said, Satan said there were four of them. 
that we should find two and out drink them first because because actually I don't really I don't really know. I think he was just trying to get rid of us. Oh no, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, and uh, Apollyon. Yeah, Apollyon. Okay. Well, Ona oh, no, was here earlier tonight, but she just went on vacation, so that one's no bueno. And Polly, she used to be a grand judge of the dead, but has since sort of retired. She's usually at the uh, sealed knot. It's a demon's only pub. Okay, what about the other one? Asmodeus. <laughs> Al's going through some shit. Some people have lost weekends. These guys haven't kind of lost in a decade. But whenever you want to head out, just let me know. We will head. City, all aboard. So, while we're riding, I might as well give you some exposition. The fellas and fillies are trying to outbooze the monarchs. They were originally angels of the highest order, seraphim. They'd fly around God's throne all day, tell him how great he is, and... And sometimes they'd fight intergalactic, interdimensional beings from other planes of existence trying to alter reality. Wait, what? Yeah, they left that part out of most Bibles. But anyways, one day they got sick of being happiness fluffers for the big I am, and decided they deserve some sort of, uh, profit sharing. So they revolted, led by Satan, of course. He was called Morningstar back then. But the Archangels, God's SEAL Team 6, had the equivalent of frigging nukes with God's holy radiation. And the Great War for the Stars lasted as long as a hamburger with a, uh, with a, like a, like a really big fat person. Because the, because the hamburger would get eaten fast. God sounds like kind of a jerk. If I can say that here. Hey, you can say whatever the heck fire you want about God now. It's one of the benefits of already being damned. But don't judge him too harshly. People will kill the world before they give up air conditioning. And you think he's gonna share creation? No way. Hey, so what's over? Light seeking light doth light of light beguile. That was written by the Earl of Southampton's mistress. Any of you heard of it? This ain't a game show, so it's not like you'll lose money. Uh, it's from Love's Labor Lost. Where do I know that? Well, firstly, you don't know it, since it's Love's Labor is Lost, and second, you know it because you were in the stupid thing. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, and the girl you were in it for ended up dating your understudy. Oh yeah, she did. I only bring up this uh, personality calcifying event because Asmodeus is going through some similar stuff. So you shouldn't really mention anything like like love or relationships or like uh, doing it or having hope for your future sexual lives. Maybe, uh, maybe we can we can help him. You cannot help anyone down here, all right? I repeat, you cannot help anyone. Just out drink the son of the bitch and help yourselves. Just like Sally Mitchell helped herself to your understudy's mouth. Okay, now, now We look. got it. Avoid touchy-feely, stick to the party hardy. Hey, party shardy works too, if you're wearing the right underwear. Alrighty, welcome to Thrall City. It's like if 14th century Europe invented the skyscraper. How did a continent invent anything? How'd Australia invent killer birds that kick you to death, Lola? A, a lot of evolution and luck, okay? Now, look, just... When you find Asmodeus, don't... Don't harsh the vibe. He's real big on having a good time. The cassowary, that, that's what you were talking about. Uh, did you hear her, Lola? <laughs> don't harsh the vibe. Oh, give me a... The Gulag Archipelago is an important book, all right? And I didn't know that Tim was on shrooms that time. Why do you even have that as an audiobook? Because I jog, okay? It's called multitasking. Bye. That's so funny. I totally forgot I was in that play. 
Sally Mitchell, she played, uh, Rosalind. I don't think I said one word to her outside of the script. Uh, it's, a, it's annoying remembering how, how bad I was at a dating or, or anything social. Not that I, not that I would be much better down here. Yeah, you didn't, you weren't the best at making female friends who wouldn't mind boning you. Yeah, I guess that'll always be a mystery. What it's like to grow old with someone. Your grace needs not fear it. That's the only line from the play I remember. He might be in here. I mean, it looks crazy. Skull. Sounds promising, eh? Okay, okay. I know I was making out with that demon. I know, but... That's what pirates do. We get booty, right? Am I... am I right? Give me a fucking break, Eddie. I'm getting a cab. Annie, we... Why'd we come here if not, huh? We never said we were exclusive. Oh, okay. I get it now. That blood oath for Captain Bart's treasure wasn't enough. Dying to those sharks when we got lost wasn't enough. Edward needed to have the talk. Okay. Those... those were business opportunities. It's not like we were married sailing the seven seas. The Gulf of fucking Mexico isn't a sea, Eddie. There's four oceans. We learned this like a thousand years ago. Oh, Annie, baby, come Just on! Just shut up. We'll talk about it when we get home. Oh, so you're gonna tell me you weren't dancing with him, huh? That guy was all over you. Okay, that guy didn't even have a head, so he, like, barely counts, biologically speaking. This place looks like a real meat market, but, uh, the meat is what? spilled. What? I can't hear you over the music. Yeah, but this place is a real meat market, though, right? If, if meat was spelled... Let's just find Asmodeus. Maybe he's on the dance floor. Yeah, it's spelled like the, like the food. Two reparias for two lovebirds. Oh, we're not lovers. I treat her more like a mannequin. I built it to me. And he looks like my dad, so I get to work out my more wholesome fantasies. Sounds good, kids. Have fun. Hey, kids, what'll it be? I'll probably regret this, but I'll have a literally acid. Try not to drink and dance, it's a pain to clean up the floor.
can we, uh... This is the VIP section. You'll notice by the fact you can't enter. Can't we just pop in for a minute? Every second you sit there would depreciate the seat's value. Well, that's... it's hard to argue with, really. Whoa, hey! Asmodeus, seriously, I'll take whatever uppers you got. <laughs> Baleo! We know you have a stash of Pujari teeth, Al. You... well, you designed the lava pit the cartel burns in! Now, you've been having a rough time of it recently. We know, but... <laughs> I'm on leave! So it's not my job anymore! Look up staycation. That's that's what it. You'll see a picture of me. This is it. Hey, that's the big guy, the monarch Asmodeus. Let's follow him. Make uh, make friends with him, not them. On leave? What are you fucking Swedish? I need drugs. My husband doesn't know he can't fix the toaster. Then I need to get high enough to pretend he can. Get a divorce then, or a drink. That's where I'm going. Well, the track makes a great term gate shake. You should have one. Hey, y'all, we're here at Club Skull, and we're gonna make sure to keep it bumping all night. I said all night long. What'll it be? I'll take a, a red and gorilla. Remember, the with dance a soft contest a. is one ongoing, sec. so sign up with me, Murmur, right here at the DJ booth. I'm not allowed to leave. I don't even have legs, really. So feel free to come by anytime. Hey, Uncle Al, how's the vacation been? Great, great. I've been, you know, I hate the phrase, taking a little me time. But uh, I guess it's better than saying I've been just dicking around, missing the life I used to have. Cool, cool. What do you want to drink? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, know how to make a Marburg sour? Hey, Asmodeus. Great club, right? Love the, uh, the ambiance theme. I can't really... I can't really tell what it is, but... Yeah, we're really big on party themes. Last year's Christmas light budget was around the cost of operations for the city of Toronto. Well, I'm sure Jesus appreciated it. I mean, he'd appreciate anything. That guy chased a laser pointer around for days if you had the batteries. Hey, Uncle Al, the alligator, the ass wagon! You have, like, ten hours? I'm taking a bath on a timeshare and need to vent at someone taller than me! Uh, maybe. Just don't get too pissed if I stop you after ten minutes. Yeah, 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 you're a loser. We got it. Just sit down and shut up. We'll get you loaded, okay? Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. Sorry to bother you, uh, Al, but first off, I'm Lola, he's Milo, and we're doing the whole challenge Satan to a drinking contest to escape hell thing, and we really yeah, need- Yeah, 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 you can stop right there. Because you don't really need anything now, do you? Because you're in hell. Which means you're dead. And you're kind of a fast talker, and fast talkers spread anxiety like termites. So do me a favor and slow boat it a bit. Yeah, get out of the fucking carpool lane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just hang out. Put your feet up. I'll just start drinking and see where my mood grows from there. Good idea! No, wait, no. We, the only reason we're here is to that get- That Morningstar already texted me, Squirt. I know you want my seal for the contest. Oh. Father Trek! Two shots of permanent vacation. You wanna, you wanna have a drink off right now? Cause I was kinda hoping you'd just make us like clean your gutters or something. Fractio Banis. We're breaking bread, Lola. Come on, do a shot with me. Let's get to know each other a little. Get those wrinkles off your face. We don't need therapy, Mr. Asmodeus. We just need you to stamp our permission slips. Uh, I disagree. And just to be clear, she does the shots, and then we get the seal? <laughs> I'm not one of those bargaining demons, guys. I'm just here to have a good time. Hey, it's okay. It's fine. Skull is a no-pressure environment. If you don't want to play shuffleboard, they'll just use the head somewhere else, you know? Hey, Al. Some folks wanted to know if you can make the death day announcements. Yeah, I'll be the mall Easter Bunny. Hey, kids, why don't you two tag along? Won't take long. Not that many people here died this month. How about instead you just give us your seal now? Save my shoes some tread. Come on, you'll get the tour first. Sure, whatever. Let's go. You're trying to outdrink Satan, right? Well, you can dream a dream in time gone by. That shit ain't happening. Why not? Because trying to outdrink a guy going through a breakup is harder than waking up happy. Satan's going through a breakup? With God? Yeah. But also with the lie that life means anything. 
That shit happened like a hundred millennia ago. And it's still in his head. Those two had a codependent relationship like you've never seen. Uh, wait, hold up. Satan's still not over getting evicted from heaven? Didn't that happen like when light was being invented? Yeah, Satan's like an elephant all right. He's got a big prick and a long memory. It's Lucifer looking these days anyway. He still up on Welkin Way? Oh yeah, big place. Makes Xanadu look like a bouncy castle. Uh, all of us. The original monarchs. We all used to live up there. I don't know if you know, Satan and me, yeah, we're still buddies. But the others, eh, yeah, even Bed Bath & Beyond coupons don't. Don't let anyone tell you that they don't. Yeah, I don't mean to pry, but... How many death days tonight? Just a few. Don't do the carbon monoxide poisoning. It's not quite over it yet. Okay, uh, Al, can we just get your signature on this? Uh... And you know another thing about Satan? He really... He was my life raft when my wife Beth left me. He took me out, wouldn't let me get too down. It was a huge help. Ugh, we're getting nowhere. Asmodeus, if you could just... Hey, party demons! We have a very special death day tonight. Brog Boulderat. Eaten by a dinosaur 30 million years ago! And yes, people, dinosaurs did exist with humans. Don't believe everything scientists tell you. Asmodeus, uh, about, about that seal? Yeah, my witch doctor slash therapist thinks I'm just burying my pain at Beth leaving by partying all the time. That I'm just perpetuating an endless cycle of self-destruction, ignoring my real trauma. But she still wears Robinson's maid. So what does she know? Let's have a drink, Milo. Come on. For Grog, Lola refused the hotel hell. But Milo, come on. It's my own personal cocktail. The unapologetic. Good for what ails you. Um, maybe? Don't be an idiot, Milo. That drink could make your hands fall off. You have no idea. Yeah, uh, look around. No one's melting into the floor. Everyone looks like they're having a good time, right? Our lost boy's gonna do it. That's what I like to see. Bottoms up. Milo, are you, uh, okay? What the fuck shit happened? What a strange occurrence. Milo and Lola meet Milo's conscience. Milo's conscience meet Milo and Lola. Charmed. Yeah. This ugly fucking loser is my conscience. Well, get it back in. How will he know to tip 15%? Or that it's not acceptable to slap mailmen. Read the room, Lola. This is a good thing. A conscience. It's just what happens to your ego if it watches too many kid shows with puppets. It's, it's radiation-growing tumors. We've just made Milo healthy again. Without restraint or fear or societal hang-ups. Like putting the seat down just because your wife can't find the light switch at night. What is happy? Get a drink and find out, you little scamp. How can one be happy if others suffer? Instinct pursues procreation, which yet brings more suffering. Hey, sailor. You look like you blew in on a stiff breeze. Wanna buy me a drink? I listened to some guy pitch me a timeshare and got his VIP seats. As long as you are... are comfortable with the proffer, I... I think I would very much enjoy that, yes. Wait, this little fucking nerd gets picked up like that? I've tried standing around before, it doesn't work. Wormhorn, you got to come back with that thing. Shouldn't we? Isn't this something we should fix? Isn't it a little scary if my best friend's moral compass is gonna go get blown in the bathroom by our personal demon? All right, kiddos, there's a dance competition that needs tending to downstairs. Wait, what? What about us having a drinking contest for the seal? Hey, I'm a busy party demon. You're fortunate to have stolen five minutes of party time. But look, I'll tell you what. How about instead, you enter the dance-off? If you win, I'll give you my seal. It's more fun than drinking. That's what Satan doesn't know. Uh, what are wh what are the songs available? You probably don't have any Whitney Houston, right? Only her cover of You Light Up My Life. Fuck. We need to get his wife Beth here. It's obvious he's covering old wounds. He's like me at the Pilates. If we can, if we can get them back together, he'll surely give us the. <laughs> 
fuck that and fuck him and fuck her and fuck you, Lola. If you think I'm gonna help some fat demon get laid tonight, let's just beat his ass in the dancing competition. Make him surrender the damn seal with our fucking puma legs. What the hell are you talking about? I don't want to help others. I had the hardest time getting girls on Earth. Okay, fine, American psycho. We'll do the damn dance off. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, motherfucker. That's... He's gonna regret poking the beehive, man. This is really... This is not good. God, Lola, you should get a shot of this. Seriously, it's... It'll really melt all your stupid insecurities into the fucking toilet. I'm not doing it. One of us needs to worry about the stains on their pants. Oh, with stains? We're talking about trying to... Humans are bungled and botched hordes, Lola. I'm really seeing that now. The trivial majority that... That plague superior men with... Like that chick in that play. Why did I want to date that girl? It's want a, to reload? It's a slave morality. Enjoy yourself. Milo can't be too easy. I've seen that guy's sexual hang-ups. Speaking of which, actually, it's so funny. I binge watch shows all the time, too. I didn't know anybody else used that term. Binge. <laughs> it's so naughty. Well, I don't know about that. It's just a poetically accurate phrase for consuming entertainment at an unsustainable rate. Hey. Yes? Let me in there. Are you on the list, sir? Because if you want... I'll have to ask you to leave the immediate area. I'm counting to five. When I reach four, it's clobber in time. Nope, nope, it's no, no. We'll just, we have a friend in there who needs our help from an abusive relationship. You'll have to be more specific. What can I say, man? Your morality thermometer just likes me better. He doesn't like you better. He's just young and stupid and is attracted to wounded souls. I do. I guess I do have a, a type. Hey, that's my conscience you're talking about. Morons perfect, like me. Just shush. We'll find another way around. No, I I want to be optimistic, but it's hard in the current political climate. Which climate is that? Is McDonald's still a PM? I mean political, more in the sense of uh, of community. Solipsism seems rampant. <laughs> Life's like a box of chocolates or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, that little. The bouncer thinks he got the best of me. Of us. He's got another thing coming. I can see straight down on that asshole's head from here. Great. How does that help us? I'm a living symbol of triumph! Milo, what ah! the fuck are you- Cheese and rice, are you kidding me? You really shattered your pelvis just to get your dull-faced insecurities back? That was really unsafe, Milo. Get the... Give me a... Give me a... Give me a minute here. Sure. Since you little dweeb. I hate how you think and I hate how you dress. But we got a dance competition to win. Do we? Will it help the general populace or just ourselves? Um, everyone. Fine, fine. I'm not gonna embarrass you, Milo. I'm not going to drag this little mistake of evolution into the sewers with me and turn him into a real man. Even though I could, I'm just gonna give you this one. You know why I'm giving you this one? Because things... Weird. Yeah! <laughs> that was funny shit! Good idea, mate. I don't know why nobody thought to do that before. Permission to come aboard. 
Milo, are you are you all right? Right, as right as rain, I think. I'm concerned about pandas again, so I think I'm doing okay. Oh, thank God. Fear is a lubricant to success. Is something I wish I'd never said now. Guess, I guess it's time. Wish I could get a few minutes to just, like, lie down for a second. God, I was really passionate about love being a total croc, huh? Yeah, whatever. We can psychoanalyze your spirit quest later. You gotta dance your face off right now. I will be there, not dancing, wanna be clear about that, but very much cheering you on. All right, let's, let's do it. I need something that'll make women overlook the fact that I'm both hideous and just generally uninformed. Eh, this'll have Marianne Cotton chasing you up a tree. Good enough for me. Want to change it up or stick with what you know? One glass filled with literally acid, if you please. Here you are. Don't drink it all in one gulp. Just a little 411 for y'all. The Syrian queen hasn't come in tonight. She usually hangs out with the Bourbon Kings in Poopy Pants Land, formerly known as Schittsburg, before those evil toddlers took over. I'm here to check in for the, uh, the dance competition. You seem a little different. Not that I'm complaining, believe me. Who's he up against? Asmodeus, who else? Ready when you are, kid. Ugh, whatever. You can take him, Milo. Y you got your mojo back. Think of Stella and her myriad grooves. Just please proceed to the dance floor when ready. Hey, oh, we got, I said we got some gladiators in the ring, y'all. Are you guys ready for the, the, the Nightly Skull Dance Competition? In this corner, we've got a little-known angel of mercy we like to call Asmodeus. <laughs> Save me some chili cheese fries, okay? And in that corner, we got a sack of potato skins his mama liked to call Sang Bong. <laughs> hey, better make some room, dudes. My moves are a little out there. Light seeking light doth light of light beguile. You know what that means? It means you can't learn anything in books. You gotta live life. Really live it. Live it till you leave death nothing but a corpse. So I hope you do okay here tonight. I really do, because I think you got a lot left in the tank. Asmodeus, you're dead already. You just don't know it. No, actually, I do know it. I'm, uh... I'm a... Team... Just... Just shut up. Okay, gentlemen dancers, this is how it works. You, Milo, copy Asmodeus' moves as best you can. Gentlemen, start your screwing! I mean dancing! Shit, I forgot which contest I was at for a second. This move I call the very rich hours of the Duke of Bell. Hey, good. Good job. Turn, Milo. And this move I call Ixion Precipitated in the Underworld. Make way for Asmodeus! Hey. 
Hey, you're better than you think. Watch and study and maybe learn a little, kid. Now copy that if you can. Okay, slow down, kid. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed if you can't keep up. I hope you were paying attention. I make it look pretty easy, right? Just do what I just did. Yeah, good one, guy. It ain't hard if you're watching the legwork. Just like that thing. Uh, yeah, you're, you're uh, doing well. Nothing 400 years of dance lessons can't teach. Try not to break anything. And the winner is... Milo! Milo, holy shit! Right? I know! Wow, that was... That was something great dancing, kid. One in a million. I'm really impressed. I, I, I gotta say, you, you really, you, you really hit those beats correctly and affirmatively. Hey, you did well too, Al. You just didn't know what he was up against. A guy that's crapped his pants three non-consecutive times at the public pool. Yes, sir, Bob. So, how about it? Yeah, you did good out there, kid. You earned it. Here's my official seal of approval. Text me if you ever want to hang out. Yeah, no, never. <laughs> but thanks. Want another? Can I have a, uh, a Bluebeard's last wife? Enjoy yourself. Try not to drink and dance, it's a pain to clean up the floor. We're gonna keep on spinning for you pretty demons, but uh, if you have any requests, shuffle on down to the suggestion box. It's at the top of I Don't Give a Shit Mountain, right after I Don't Care If Your Mother Dies Valley. So, uh, shit got a little crazy after that, uh, after Asmodeus' drink, huh? Seriously, you were going like Paul after he snorted all those boner pills. Do you, um, remember any of it? Not that I need you to relive the, uh, the experience. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. I felt like when my parents accidentally left me overnight in that toy store. I know, and I'm not even saying it was, like, all bad, actually. It was good to see you, kinda, out there just letting loose. Yeah, in a weird way. Trying something new. Ah, so this is really about me staying in town after school? Hey, I haven't said anything about you staying... Oh, please. Trying something new is what you're doing by moving, right? I'm sorry that my mom needs help, okay, Lola? I'm like her emotional support parrot. 
My dad remarried in three months, and she's all alone with nothing but her store. You were too scared to talk to Eliza and let me go after Greg after whining to me for years about not chatting up girls at school. You go back and forth, back and forth. It's just, you know, it's hard to know what target you're aiming at next. What are you... Are you really bringing up that drunk girl from the bachelor party? That was like two hours ago. Is this... Is this a wormhorn thing? Like, what the hell is going on with you right now? Nothing's going on, just forget it. My shoes are finally starting to give way. I think it's just... It, that's all. Never mind. Well, we'll walk a little slower then. Cripes. This is new. Did I ever tell you my completely unfounded fear of elevators getting stuck with me in one? It'll be all right, Milo. It's it's gonna start up again in no time. <laughs> oh, come on. Elevators typically only kill 30 people per year, Milo. Of course, that doesn't take into account how many people are murdered inside an elevator, so, you know, who's to say your next trip up the lift won't be your last? <laughs> But let's take a look at what terribly excruciating memories are burning up the charts. Coming in at number three. Oh, I can't believe it's so low. Milo not taking the time to regain his conscience until after entering the dance competition. <laughs> a bewildering choice! Almost as if Milo wanted to see what dumb shit he would get into without it. Which is the excuse of roughly 40% of active serial killers. Bred as they are on a steady diet of nihilistic emotional delivery mechanisms. Whatever, Wormhorn. It was fun. It was. I'm not gonna apologize for going on a bit of a bender that wasn't that bad in the first place. It... it... wasn't that bad, was it? It was bad. And speaking of dancing, coming in at number two, Milo won the competition! How ridiculously stupid to have actually played along with this shit. I, I don't know if you know what you looked like out there. But there will be people checking their insurance tomorrow to see if PTSD is covered. Ask around if you don't believe me. It wasn't a pretty sight. I couldn't contain myself. Okay, I, I never get to win stuff like that, and I wanted to live it out when no one knew I was around. Hey! I mean, no one I knew who I cared what they thought. Wait, this is making it worse. And the new number one recollection on this completely made-up list is... Oh! Oh, shoot. How'd this one get in here? It looks like a picture of Lola not fulfilling her lifelong goal of becoming a powerful leader of industry. Ah, uh, tisk tisk. What a shame, really. Oh my god, no. How, how did you find these clearly divine images? What do you mean? I didn't do this. It must have been... Uh, whatever. Moving on. And the new top-ranked what-the-hell-were-they-thinking thing they did is... NOT get Asmodeus and Bath back together again! <sighs> really, guys? This was a layup! How many ways do they have to spell shit out for you? And when has getting two people into a relationship not been beneficial, except for the vast majority of times? Enough, Wormhorn. Can it and open the doors. What? I'm trying my best. I I've been to the, the Akashic Records and back. I've been through your brain journals, your memory palaces. You're not exactly giving me snuff films and spy movies here. Let us go. No. You know what? Why should I? Tell me. Why don't I just keep you here? Why don't I just... I just burn time till there's nothing left? Seriously, Wormhorn, don't even joke about it. I'll find a fucking way to end you. I swear it. I'll become a damn... witch. Okay? You don't want me down here any more than you need to. Ugh. Whatever. Just remember. I know which one of you likes to be spanked. I know which one of you likes to get their hair pulled. I know which one of you hates themselves so much they hate their parents for the idea. And I know which one of you hates the other one almost as much. Think about it. Bye. <laughs> That bit's not getting any fresher, I can tell you that much.
Well, I don't hate you, by the way. Yeah, I don't hate you either. <laughs> Bella, he seems wasted. God, he's just saying he's sorry for earlier. Should I put him back? Uh, if you want. I guess Feisty's is a chain. Wanna head in? Huh, oh, looks like it's closed. Oh, you're right. It looks like that one permanently shuttered dimples near our housing where that weird cat lives in. Want to get a tattoo? I thought you wanted, like, uh, an aardvark design or something. Yeah, maybe if we get home I'll want to commemorate my love of those lovable insect eaters, but... I'd be a little nervous of what a hell tattoo would actually... Hey, this looks like a cool bar. The same. And so I told Frank, I said, Listen, I don't care about the metrics. Just tell me what we should be doing better. He's so whipped by marketing. Milo, are, are you okay? Oh, um, Beth, honey, I, I think he just stepped on somebody. Oh, sorry, kid. I didn't see you down there. It's... it's I'm good. I once had my foot run over by a paper boy, so I, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. You're new, right? Are you on Baker yet? Yes! For Satan's sake! You're not at a convention! <laughs> what? Conversion and retention, man. It'll get Beelzebub off my ass. Sorry, I'm Beth. Short for Behemoth. I'm Director of Operations for Baker. You just love to say the full title, don't you? <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Oh, so you run Baker? So it was your idea to make social media a nightmarish maelstrom that perverts noise with meaning? Or was it just a happy accident that it's the same thing on Earth? <laughs> just a happy accident. Sorry, Beth, but they're not going to hold our table forever. They will for me, but all right. See you guys around. Get on Bicker and direct yell at me. I'll promote your sins, okay? Have a good night, kids. Uh, pardon, pardon me, uh, but we would like to get into the... This bar? Yeah, fat chance. The cellar is an exclusive lounge and haven for serious reprobates only. You gotta score less than 20% on your shame and scruples. If you have even a hint of compunction or moral fortitude in you. Okay, well, how do you know I'm not like that? I mean, I mean, one time I was playing my little cousin in a in a racing game, and I didn't show him how to brake until it was almost time for his parents to pick him up. Leave. <laughs> 